I'm extremely unprepared for this inbox. I've been crying all, all week. Some idiot on YouTube, one idiot got on there and said something that really hurt my feelings. Said that I used a script. Said, hey, he just says whatever they tell him to say. And he memorizes it and comes on and says it. How, how did he know? He's, he's on to my secret. I'll show you how unprepared I am. I'll show you. I believe you would hurt me like that. Say things like that on YouTube. How dare you? All right, first question is from Cool Pool Guy. And uh, this is actually it's not even a real question. Someone wrote this, and I'm just going to read back. I don't, I'm, not, I'm a robot. Hi, Logan. I was wondering, is the MSI P6N Diamond Tri-SLI ready? I don't know, dude. And uh, do we ever get to see Randy, the mysterious voice coming from backstage, or will he continue to be a mystery? I don't know who Randy is. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really unprepared. Who's Randy? What's this guy talking about? Tri-SLI? Yeah, it should be possible with that motherboard. I don't know, though. I don't really know much about technology. Next question is from Freeman. Freeman 143, 2000. All right. It says, uh, why don't you tell them, Logan, to make the Q9450 with the 780i SLI or the 790i with DDR3 RAM offer? Oh, he wants a bundle. He wants a bundle. Because I am the first one to buy this offer. I am waiting for this offer in hell. If you don't tell them, I will come to you and kill you. Dude, I've contacted the people, and we're going to try to put that together. That'd be an awesome uh, deal. A little bundle with a 790i and a, and a Q94, whatever you wrote, 50. I don't know. I'm not prepared. Uh, something about I think that's an Intel quad core, isn't it? Uh, next question is from Lewis M. Uh, there's his last name, and I'm not going to say his last name. All right, he says, hey, man, I want to buy uh, one card. Four Play Crisis, my motherboard is the P35. Okay, and he also says he thinks he can uh, use Crossfire, but he has $160, and he wants to know what he should get. He says, you recommend me, I was thinking, the 8800 GT PNY, the 9600 GT of Palette, or the 3870 of HIS, I think. I can get another one. That gonna play Crisis Perfect, but I need to get more money. Tell please. Waiting for answer. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Thank you for that uh, for that exercise of the mind trying to put that together. Uh, hey, I love people from all over the world, and I appreciate uh, you trying to uh, speak English. I really do. I'm serious. That's awesome. I think it's awesome. People around the world watching. All right, now for you, the 8800 GT is always going to be a little faster than the 9600 GT. However, the 9600 GT from Pallet is overclocked, but still, I'm going to stick with the 8800 GT. A 3870 is a great car, but you mentioned the word crisis, and the 8800 GT almost always beats uh, the 3870 in crisis. So go for that one. Uh, you'll be able to play crisis uh, pretty good on medium settings. And it looks great on medium settings. I played through Crisis on medium, as a matter of fact. Medium rare. All right, next one is from uh, from You Rule 818. You Rule. I wonder, who he's I wonder if he's talking to himself. Every day he gets up and he types in his screen name and he feels a little better about himself. He's like, yeah, that's right. You rule, dude. And don't you forget it, self. Don't you forget it, man. <clears throat> Do you know of a PC that's under $1,000 and can play some games, fairly old games like Battlefield 2? My friend wants a PC, but their parents do not want to spend a lot of money. They refuse to build their own PC. They refuse to build their own PC. I built my own PC. All right, here's what you have to do. You have to show them this video and say about this time in the video, give them the timeline of whatever it says right now. Logan says that it's a cool thing to build your own PC and, uh, you know, don't think about going to Dell or something like that, because even though they advertise support, you're going to be talking to somebody who doesn't speak English. You're going to be talking to the, whatever, one of these guys who wrote in for questions. You know, th this is maybe, maybe one of Dell's tech support guys from some other country sending me questions. That's what happens. Then you should build the PC for them and be their tech support. That's what you should do. And for a thousand bucks, man, oh, you can get a nice PC. Put, uh, put about 300 bucks into the graphics card and uh, maybe a couple hundred bucks into the CPU, 150 into the... Motherboard, save up like a hundred for the RAM and a hundred for the hard drive. And are we at, are we a thousand bucks yet? Yeah, I think that's perfectly correct. That's what you got to do. 
I mean, for a thousand bucks, you're not going to get much if you buy a box. That's for sure. We also have some great bundles here. But you said you built your own computer, and if you're a true friend, you would build his computer for him and charge him 50 bucks. Hey, friendship, you know, it's the way it works in America. All right, last question uh, of things that I don't know anything about because I don't know anything about electronics. Uh, you cut me deep, Mr. Person on YouTube who insulted me. I'm serious. Couldn't even eat for two days. YouTube insults. It's a pastime for some of these guys. They'll wake up in the morning, they look at themselves in the mirror, and they said, say, God, I'm ugly, but man, I'm going to make people feel bad. Like me. <laughs> All right. Next question is from R Square. Hi, Logan. I'm from Sri Lanka. My name is uh, Rajinth Raj, uh, Spaxi. The two R's and the name make R Square. I was thinking of buying a new processor for my system. Currently, I have uh, the GG33FB motherboard from Intel and an Intel Core 2 Duo E6750, 2.66 gigahertz processor. I want to know whether I should go for the Core 2 Duo E8500, 3.16 gigahertz processor, or the Quad Core Q6450. Which one is better, and which one will be the best for gaming and other applications, and what will you buy? Also, I want to know, I want a new graphics card. Currently, I have an 8500 GT from XFX. I was thinking of the XFX 8800 GTS Alpha Dog, or the XFX 8800 GTX, or the XFX 9800 GTX. Which one is better, or, uh, and which one is better in the price to performance ratio? The first thing you need to do before you upgrade your CPU is spend the most money on the graphics card, and uh, the best price to performance ratio as far as price goes, it's almost a toss-up between the 9800 GTX and the 8800 GTS. They both are very similar in benchmarks, with a slight edge, two or three frames, sometimes five, six frames a second. Uh, extra on the uh, GTX, the 9800 GTX, 8800 GTX, uh, don't worry about that anymore because it's about the same price as the uh, 9800 GTX. It uses a lot more power, generates a little more heat, and the benchmarks are a little bit less. So pick up that one first and then get the CPU you can afford. I mean, upgrading the graphics card, you might not even need a new CPU uh, because that um, that Core 2 Duo that you already have, the E6750, is a great part. It's 2.66 gigahertz, very overclockable. Upgrade your graphics card first, run some benchmarks. If you can save the money, hey, you're good to go. If not, go ahead and pick up the quad core instead of the dual core if you get the money for it because the uh, quad core is a little more future proof. Uh, I've seen a few benchmarks that say the E8500 can be faster than the quad now, but not in the uh, games that are optimized for quad core. All right, send me an email. Logan at CompUSA.TV. You can also post a video response to this one. And, uh, you know, maybe if you, if you want to mock me, go ahead. I mean, I take everything personally on the Internet. Everything. Let me just leave you guys with a, a quote from some famous poet. Maybe it was William Blake. If it's not, he should have said it. The beginning of uh, wisdom is the knowledge that you know nothing. <laughs>